the lessor accounting for operating leases. Okay, so let's recap what we've seen so far. We've seen the financing lease from the lessor's perspective, sorry, from the lessee's perspective, from your perspective when you're leasing it. And what did we just see here? We just saw operating leases. So let's talk a little bit more about operating leases. Now, applying the same classification tests used by Sharper, Bolton classifies the lease as an operating lease as none of the finance lease tests are met. So this is now from the lessor, the, the party leasing the asset to the other party. Under the operating method, so we're both using the operating method. Both parties are using the operating because none of the criteria were met. If one of the criteria is met, then the less E, the party leasing, uses the finance method, the finance lease. And then the lessor will either use the sales type or the direct method. We'll see those later on. Generally, it's going to be the sales type. And that's just a classification of the finance lease. It's a, it's a further breakdown of it, further classification. So under the operating method, the party leasing the asset to the other continues to recognize the asset on its balance sheet and recognizes lease revenue, generally on a straight line basis in each period, depreciates the lease asset using double declining balance. This is still owned by Bolton because it's an operating lease. If it was a finance lease, well, then Sharper essentially is the owner and Sharper would deal with the depreciation. All right. Now, this is from, again, the lessor's perspective, different perspectives here, still operating lease, but different perspectives. So from the perspective of the party leasing the asset to the other, we are going, this is how we recognize revenue. Now, this is as we receive the cash at the beginning of the year, but we don't receive it until the end of the, we don't recognize it till the end of the year as we have fulfilled our end of the bargain by letting the other party use our asset, right? So this is us debiting cash and crediting unearned revenue, just like if someone paid you uh, rent at the beginning of the period and they haven't lived in it the whole month yet or the whole year. Uh, and then this is the journal entry for recognizing that revenue at the end of the year. Nothing too crazy. These are nice, simple journal entries. Should make relative sense. Here's our depreciation expense. Now, double declining balance. It was given to us there. This is straight journal entries from our depreciation section, straight math from our depreciation section, doing double declining balance. Right. So, generally, if it was straight, we take we start with straight line. It's five year useful life. Well, one divided by five, so one year of depreciation is twenty percent, and then we just multiply that by two, gives us forty percent. So we do forty percent each year, and that's how we get our forty percent here. Cost basis of sixty, twenty four thousand dollars of of depreciation expense and accumulated in this year. Awesome. Awesome. Bolton will also record other costs related to the lease arrangements. So insurance, maintenance, taxes in the period incurred. This is all from the perspective of the party that is leasing it to the other party.